Hi, I'm Michael from Melbourne Guitar Academy and in today's lesson we're going to take a look at The Last Post. Anzac Day is only a few days away, so here's a special lesson and we're going to go phrase by phrase for this very important song. So I've divided up into phrases and the most important thing is to realise that it is very free with time. So even though there's notation included um, in your example in your handout, you're not just going to play it as the timing states. You want to have it free and flowing and smooth and have a very loose sense of timing. So let's start with phrase number one. We're going to the B flat note, fret number one on string number five and playing, outlining essentially a power chord going root and fifth. So that's your first phrase, and what you want to do is let the notes breathe. Imagine you were a horn player um, and you were just breathing yourself into that note. And just let it sustain and let it ring out. Now in terms of the fingers, it's outlining a B flat bar chord here. So you can use your third finger and roll. Like that, or you can bring your other fingers on board like this. So either way is fine, I generally prefer to roll, but if you're just getting used to bar chords or you're not very experienced with lead guitar, use your first finger on fret one, your second finger on the fourth string, your third finger on the third string, and your pinky on the fourth string. So that's the first phrase, let's take a look at phrase number two. So phrase number two starts up on the second string, and you're going to use your third finger to play the third fret. I'm going to put my third finger there, play the first fret on the first string with my first finger, and then get my third finger here, my second finger, and my first finger. And I just get this little roll motion. Whoops. Now, phrase number three is going to be a variation of that same idea where we're just going to keep on rolling between those notes. You see I'm essentially holding an A chord shape here and I'm just moving it up a fret to be able to play my way through that. So assign one finger per string and just let those fingers take over for that phrase. Now phrase number four goes like this. slight variation of the second phrase. Again, use the same fingers as we did in the previous part of this lesson. Now, phrase number five gets a little bit tricky because of the timing. And again, we want to use the same combination of fingers. So you've got kind of like a ticker ticker beat. Ticker ticker T ticker T T ta ticker ticker T ticker T T ta T T T ticker T 
So that's the rhythm that you're going there. And again, use the um, same fingers as you did for the previous movement. We're outlining that B flat bar chord, kind of like an A triad moved up a fret. And then at the end you tag this. Phrase number six, we're almost at the end of the song. So what you have here is a very similar phrase to earlier. In fact, it's essentially phrase number two repeated again. So first finger on the first fret of the first string, third finger on the second string, and then you get your second finger and you're just outlining that chord there. And don't forget to let the phrase ring out. Nothing should be cut short here. And then our final phrase, phrase number seven. And really let it ring out and sustain. You know, it's a very special occasion this Saturday. And this is a piece I believe all musicians should learn. So I want you to imagine yourself as you're playing this, even though Anzac Day this year is only a couple of days away, we've still got Remembrance Day later in the year. And we've also got you know Anzac Day and Remembrance Day once a year each until the end of time. So I think what you should do with this lesson is learn it. And if you're at school, is you should go and speak to your teacher next year and say, hey, I've learned the last post, can I perform this at assembly? Or go to your sporting club and say, hey, on Remembrance Day, can I get out my guitar and can I play this as part of the ceremony? So it's a very powerful song. There's a lot of meaning behind it. I hope you learn it. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. And if you would like more lessons like this, um, make sure you subscribe www.melbourneguitaracademy forward slash online. We've got a free two week lesson trial going on at the moment. So thank you very much. Have a wonderful Anzac Day, lest we forget.